things in this industry, especially the beauty industry, that sometimes you do not know if it's true or not. So today I'm going to give you four more facts or fakes and you decide what is right for you. So let's get started right now. If you're new on this channel, welcome. Stay with me until the end and so you can see if my content aligns with you and then you enjoy what I have to talk about. If it is so, please subscribe, give me comments below so I can see and can react with you and I do reply to everybody. So today I am going to talk about different procedures that some beauty gurus they feel that is very important to do daily or weekly but I will give you my own twist on it. So let my first one is exfoliation. I believe in exfoliation. By exfoliating the skin will produce uh, new cells. However, if you over exfoliate, you're actually causing inflammation. So this is a, a fake and a fact because if you overdo it, it's a fake. If you are continuously peeling your skin, Charlie, oh, my little Charlie. Hey, you gonna come here? Charlie, come, come. And you'll see her walking around. So if you are uh, exfoliating too much and thinning out the skin because you're using uh, Retin-A or all the retinols and uh, you are doing a lot of glycolics, you're actually causing more damage. So that is a fake. Uh, if you're doing it, um, let's say once a week or once a month, depending what you are doing, depending on the product, please do not overdo it. Another one, which I will do a tutorial in the future, is on microdermabrasion. Uh, yes, it is good, but do not overdo it. So how often should you do it? Maybe once or twice, a year and you're almost like blasting you're you're uh, taking away all the dead skin however if you overdo it you're over thinning the skin and that is not good so that that's a fake go to an esthetician if you're doing microdermabrasion go to an esthetician that you can trust and she is giving you the right information if you're doing uh, a, additional on top of that, um, glycolic and retinase and retinoids and all that and thinning out the skin, you're causing an inflammation of your skin and that is not good. Another uh, fake fact is overwashing your skin. Is it okay to wash your face two or three times a day? I would say no. Uh, so for me, that is a fake. If you're washing your face too often, you're actually removing the protection, which is called the acid mantle. And of course, if you're saying, well, Mom, Maria, I have a very oily skin, but there's other things that you can do. Do not wash your skin too often. Again, you will have to make that decision. But if your skin is very, very oily and you're overwashing your skin, you're overstimulating your, your sebaceous glands. If you're washing your face and you're removing that the natural acid mantle, the sebaceous glands are saying, oh, I have to produce more oil to get that uh, um, evenness of oils on my skin. So overwashing is not good. Same thing with the scalp. If you have very oily hair and you're washing in the morning and you're washing at nighttime, basically you're overstimulating the sebaceous glands to produce more oils. About dirty skin. The first thing, especially if you have oily skin or acneic skin with a lot of blemishes and breakouts, the first thing that I would advise you to do is to change your pillowcase regularly. So that means that every night you have to change that pillowcase to keep your skin cleaner. Another thing to keep your skin clean so you don't overwash your skin. And by the way, I do have a tutorial on how often should you wash your face. So please look at that. Another thing that you need to do, if you have long hair, 
pull your hair up because hair, even if you wash them regularly, hair is very dirty. And so if you're going to sleep and your hair is touching your face, that will make your skin dirtier. So again, pull your hair up on a bun or a ponytail and uh, so if your ponytail again is falling down that again your hair will touch your skin so put it in a, in a chignon or, or a bun away from your face another thing to keep your skin clean without overwashing is your face cloth do not use a face cloth day after day only one day uh, because on the face cloth, let's say you're washing your face, on the face cloth you will have dead skin, you will have uh, uh, maybe some bacteria and then it's wet and it grows bacteria. Would you want to put that on your face? Absolutely not. Don't do that to yourself. Also, if you have a face cloth, I wonder how many people are using that face cloth. Maybe you're using it on your face and maybe they're using it for mm -mm, something else. So do change the face cloth every day. To keep your skin clean, you need to remove your makeup. And this is mainly for, well, it could be for everybody, but mainly young girls that are just starting to put makeup on, please clean your skin. Now, I, when you have a beautiful skin, young skin, you don't need to put all that makeup on, you know? But if you want to apply makeup, remember at nighttime, you have to wash off all that makeup. Get yourself some nice cleanser that is not too irritating, and that's very important too, that your, your cleanser is not a soapy or soap on your skin because that will totally deteriorate and remove your beautiful acid mantle. Now, so fake or fact uh, about uh, products, about this product will lift your skin, you know what? No, no. Uh, there is some products that have active ingredients to nourish the skin, absolutely, that will help with uh, different uh, uh, problems, yes, but to lift your skin? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't really think so. So that is a fake. Um, too many products, again, not good for your skin. How many products should you have? In my opinion, a good cleanser. Uh, I'm not very much about toner, so I always say apple cider vinegar with water, and the concentration will vary depending your skin type. A good moisturizer, uh, which I, with NRF2 activation, that is very uh, essential for me. Uh, a night cream, uh, if that's something that you are getting older. Some oils, and I really like uh, rosehip oil for, for my skin, and I use a, an NRF2 activator uh, uh, product, maybe a mask, that's about it. Now, you could have a, a maybe a, a glycolic acid or a scrub to remove a um, dead skin, but for lifting, you will need to do facial muscle exercising and I have a tutorial, I actually have several tutorials, but if you do facial muscle exercising, don't do only one area, do the full face first, and then work in certain specific areas. So maybe extra on your neck, on, on your jawline, or your marionette, or a nasal labial fold, then you can focus more, but do your whole face and then specific areas. Uh, for lifting is uh, microcurrents, yes, microcurrent, radio frequency, microneedling. So there's all these different types of procedures that you can use, but just products, that is a fake for me. About collagen loss, I have an amazing tutorial that I would love for you to look at on how to stimulate your collagen. Uh, now, there is a way that you can go to the doctor and they will give you collagen injection and uh, all different types of procedures and uh, laser and on and on, but I really believe that you can take your collagen and take care of your collagen by taking care of your skin and your diet. So the first thing that I advise is to protect your skin from the UVR. The UVR and the, that tutorial that I just created just a little while ago, it's amazing. The UVR will destroy 
your, your fibers, your collagen that keeps your skin nice and tight. So protect by using mineral makeup. I really believe in mineral makeup. Now, if you want to use SPF, which a lot of gurus mention that, no more than 15 SPF because the higher you go, the more chemicals and those chemicals can, may cause skin cancer. So it is a balance. So I would say 15 SPF and then apply mineral makeup. Pollution, that is also very bad for you, pollution. So stay away from polluted areas. And again, if you apply a light layer of mineral makeup, that will also protect you, not only from the UVR, but also from pollution. Smoking is very bad. Why? It's because when you smoke, you're killing all the vitamin C and the vitamin C, it is the glue to keep everything nice and together for your collagen your diet, please, so very important. Hydrate, drink your water. And, and I'm always mentioning that because water, it is the key to keep everything flowing in your dermis. Uh, exercising, not only like you're exercising your body, facial muscle exercising will help with uh, your collagen. So you can go and get collagen injection and uh, Botox and all that for a quick fix. But if you want to want to take care of your skin for the long run, you have to take care of yourself through diet and uh, by protecting your skin from the UVR. I did promise that I will let you meet Charlie. She's my little 10 year old Chihuahua. Hey Charlie. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Oh, she's getting a little bit finicky, so let me put her down. If you have any questions, please let me know. Put comments below and I will reply to you. I reply to every individual person. If you have any additional problems, do connect with me on Instagram and it's Aglaya Aesthetics and I will personally help you if you have any problems. Again, this is Maria and I look forward in chatting with you very, very soon. Take care.